you can read here, your TV guidance counselor. Cast your mind back. Let's go back 40 years to the third week of October 1982. And let's see what's on ABC that week. And I will watch it with you and we can react to whatever weirdness is happening 40 years ago. Roll it. Sunday, the queen who ruled after her death on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Queen who ruled after her death. Oddly prescient. Uh, not Queen of England. Uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not is premiering. <clears throat> this is a pretty scary show. Jack Palance being terrifying on this show, by the way. Uh, this was reality TV, believe it or not. We had Ripley's Believe It or Not, Real People. That's incredible. This was sort of magazine-style shows. Ripley's Believe It or Not was a weird one because it was like just things like a queen who ruled after her death. Uh, but a show that I really enjoyed, so I'm excited for that. What else we got? Saturday on T.J. Hooker. Hold it right there! Romano goes after a cop killer, and he's breaking all the rules. The bottom line is the law. Then, a costume party affair when a gorgeous blonde tries to make Julie jealous. That's a great dress. And gophers caught in the middle on the love boat. Then, a 300-year-old curse no! sets a man against his own wife on the season premiere of Fantasy Island. No! Tomorrow, starting at 8, 7 Central and Mountain on ABC. Okay, before I get into the content there, I want to give a little hat tip. To Ernie Anderson, who is the announcer here, he was the voice of ABC for years, he's Paul Thomas Anderson's father, uh, he was also, I believe, Goulardi in Cleveland, which was a horror host, he really, by, by 1982, he's really leaning into just, like, weird emphasis, like when he goes, the love boo, which is just fantastic, so, just good job, Ernie, I know he's deceased, but, you know, fine job. <clears throat> now, T.J. Hooker, not a show I love. However, a serial killer, that's exciting. Uh, Adrian Zemed, mostly in the nude, is probably exciting for a lot of people. Uh, then we get into Love Boat, which by 1982 was still as horny as ever. I mean, we get a Halloween episode uh, and just a super horny show. This is a weird era of television where shows uh, could be incredibly horny. This is really pre-AIDS, but also kind of wholesome and like a family show. Uh, Fantasy Island terrifying always a terrifying show about satan and deals with satan but this one particularly like that that face turning around even though it's not a great mask uh looks a little, little bit like an aztec mummy uh horrifying so you know we get semi halloween show and then two halloween episodes uh bonus points because they're horny uh i'm in i'm in on those as well abc's killing it thus far monday the toy of the future and women versus muscle men training pool that's incredible then pro football best are back in action on monday night as mark gastineau james lofton and other nfl giants battle it out on abc's monday night football superstars This one fooled me. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, that's incredible, as I mentioned. Always incredible, always fun. But then the football started, and I was like, Monday Night Football, fuck off. I don't really care. I'm not ready for the football. But it wasn't Monday Night Football. It's some weird thing called Monday Night Football Superstars, where it's basically Battle of the Network Stars, but for NFL players, a little bit mixed with the Strongest Man in the World competitions, which I'll watch all day, every day. Uh, I'm actually going to watch that. So this is a first Monday night, a football related thing. I'm watching it again. ABC 1982, even though I'm not even two years old at this point, I'm, I'm loving what you're doing. G keep it coming. I, I want to see more of this. Sunday. A million dollars is a good reason for murder. Matt Houston's first love is up to her eyelashes in trouble. I didn't do it. And she's lying to you. You're a killer. Matt Houston. Damn. I have beat the light! John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd. We're on a mission from God. A network television premiere. The Blue Brothers. Sunday. Starting at 8, 7 Central and Mountain on ABC. All right, here's where we trail off a little bit. Matt Houston, don't care. Uh, this was in the uh, early 80s mustachioed private investigator uh, genre. I guess like, we could say it's a genre. You got your Magnum P.I., you know, you got your, uh, why am I forgetting? Magnum P.I. and then the, 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 the Tom Selleck one, and then, I guess, is it just Magnum P.I.? You got your Magnum P.I., right? You got Matt Houston. Eh, I don't care. Uh, Blues Brothers is fine. Uh, I don't love it as much as other people do. I like everyone involved. There's some fun things in it. I think that that little blip of films like i really don't like animal house uh kind of passed me by like i don't dis actively dislike it it's just fine 
Um, we had a VCR at this point, so I could probably rent Blues Brothers and also Black Box, who could probably watch it on cable. But it's the network television premiere, so that's something. You know, this is a maybe. ABC, you started strong, and then, then we go for a maybe. Uh, how are you going to end this for me? How can you redeem yourself? What do a dashing photojournalist and an assistant shoe buyer have in common with a fast-talking con man and a young-at-heart retired cop? I gotta get to the airport! They're off on a madcap adventure that will take you around the world. And starting Friday, October 22nd, the lives of these four people will never be the same as they set forth on the quest. All right, redeemed. We got the bookends of that great song, which I think every every TV network needs to have a song like that. Uh, fantastic. Uh, but also The Quest, a show I've never heard of, but felt like Mad Libs, where it's like, an assistant shoe buyer and a retired cut. Like, I'll watch it. It might be bad, but they, they've hooked me. Uh, so overall, we're at like, I don't know, 85% of a, of a pretty awesome week on ABC 1982. So if you're so inclined, you can probably recreate this whole week of TV via YouTube links. Uh, let me know if you watch anything here down in the comments or if you disagree with my assessments. Uh, and if you like these little reaction videos for this week in history various years ago, uh, let me know and I'll do more of them. But until next time, I'll be here watching ABC.